Then they get back into bed with Robinson Chirinos. There's a lot of familiarity there, having been a Ranger in the past. And he signs a one-year deal to go back to Arlington and open up a new ballpark. That's right. One year, $6.75 million, Matt. And this is an interesting move because, of course, last year they let Chirinos go, brought in Jeff Mathis, the defensive specialist, and that really didn't work out. Their catching position by war was the worst in the majors last year. It was Mathis, it was Jose Trevino, and Isaiah Kainafaletha at times. Torinos, obviously, you can see the home runs right there. He's someone who has shown, even at an advanced age, he can hit. So they bring him back. They now have Trevino and Mathis and Torino. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. But... The catching market pretty much is settled now, and we've seen a lot of musical chairs with these different guys bouncing around. And Maldonado is back with Houston. Chirino's back with Texas. Look at the group right there. There's Yasmani Grandal. We just mentioned him at the top. And then Darno, of course, the multi-year deal for him. And right down the list, you can see where each guy is valued in the market, and you can see how many of them have changed teams. It's kind of astonishing, really. It's been a true merry-go-round. Gomes, the only one staying with his club of that list. I tell you what, if you don't hit in the American League, it's cute. They have great framing records and all that stuff. You don't hit, you lose. You just do. And that's the bottom line in the American League. You don't hit, you lose. Yeah. Well, I, I still think, you know, this is nice for the Rangers, a good ad. Yeah. Uh, Kluber, a help. I still thought that Donaldson or Rendon was going to end up there. Still a chance for Donaldson, I guess. And when we hear about the uh, the suitors for Donaldson and the teams apparently that have locked in their four-year bids or are working on the four-year bids, the Nationals, the Braves, the Twins, we're not hearing the Rangers there anymore. Are, th are they sleeping in the weeds or, or are they out? I don't know that they're in on Donaldson. However, that does not mean they're done. And J.P. Romerosi has reported on this. They are in on Castellanos, and they are a team that has also looked at Todd Frazier. And they are one of the teams that is talking about a trade for Nolan Arenado with the Rockies. Now, I don't know if a trade of Arenado happens this offseason, but remember the situation there. He's got the opt-out after 2021. He don't seem all that happy with Colorado. I'm not sure Colorado's all that happy with him right now, even though it's been less than a year since he signed that extension. So this is a complicated situation. And obviously he has a full no trade and he has the opt out, which complicates a trade negotiation as well. But the Rangers, getting back to your question, Matt, that's a team that still might have one more move left for a right-handed bat, whether it's Arenado, Castellanos, Todd Frazier, someone along those lines.